What is up, everybody in the YouTube world? There, I mixed it up a little bit for you guys. Um, I am the original Renaissance man, Devon Da Vinci, and you are watching Da Vinci Reacts. Today I'm going to be reacting to another sketch, uh, sketch comedy, not sketch comedy, stand-up comedy, by uh, Louis C.K. This is, of course, the word faggot. Now, for anybody that may be offended by this word, um, be sure to check out another video because this is probably going to go deep into it. And I would like to have a discussion about uh, certain offensive words in general after the video is over. So um, if you are interested in that, stay tuned with that. Um, I do want to check this out, just see what he says. And I would like to try to have some type of dialogue after this just to see, I mean, just to give my own thoughts on certain words and things like that. So let's go ahead and check this out. I have other videos about uh, other topics like this. I did a reaction to his video about the uh, N-word and things like that. Uh, of course, we're talking about the nigger word. That's what it is. I'm just saying it. And if this video does get taken down, <laughs> just know that I understand that it is. I already know going ahead, like going into this, that this video is probably going to get um, uh, hit with the the yellow mark of doom, where it's not going to be advertiser friendly. So I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check this out. Hey, faggot, how you doing? <laughs> Sorry. I called him a faggot. Um, I miss that word, you know? I, I grew up saying that word, and it, I mean, it, it never meant gay. When I was a kid, I didn't, I didn't know what gay was. No, I hadn't been told that people do that. I had no fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> faggot didn't mean gay. When I was a kid, you call somebody faggot because they're being a faggot, you know? <laughs> Someone's just being a faggot. Nee, shut up, <laughs> faggot. I'm supposed to use those for that. Shut up, faggot. <laughs> keep throwing it back at him. Didn't mean, like, I would never call a gay guy a faggot unless he's being a faggot. <laughs> but not because he's gay, you understand? Like, if I saw two guys blowing each other, and I don't know why I'm watching them do it, but if I just happened... <laughs> There's have to be a room. I stumbled upon a couple of fellas <laughs> blowing one another on their... Respective Panesia. <laughs> it's a plural for penis that I invented today. <laughs> Panesia. I would be respectful to them. I would, you know, hello, gentlemen, whatever, you know. <laughs> but if one of them took the dick out of his mouth and started acting all faggy and saying annoying faggy things. <laughs> You know, people from Phoenix are Phoenicians or something like that. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, shut up, faggot. <laughs> faggot! Quit being a faggot and suck that dick. <laughs> That's what I say to him. I would never call somebody a mean name because they're sucking a dick. Because if you can suck a dick, man, that's awesome. I respect you because I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I mean, I haven't tried and failed. I just I put myself there in my mind and I couldn't do it because I'm afraid. That's the only reason. But that's why if you can suck a dick, I think that that's, there's a strength in being able to do that. I believe that. I don't believe that blowing somebody comes easily to anybody. Even if it's something that you generally do, every new dick must take something out of you. There must be something you gotta do to get yourself ready, you know. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you, I'm gonna suck you. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> all right. Yep, that was kind of short. First of all, let me get this argument out of the way. Uh, the plural for penis is peni. There you go. You learned something today. Um, if it isn't, it is today. God damn it. Anyway, uh, yeah, that, that that's actually funny because um, it kind of reminds me of that episode of South Park where they were talking about um you know, the word faggot and bikers and shit. And they were saying like, oh no, we're, you know, we're not talking about gay people. We're talking about them. They're acting like faggots. Like, 
I mean, obviously, I'm not gay, so I'm not in any position to tell anybody what the word, like, should mean or was supposed to mean or anything like that. And when it comes to, like, derogatory slurs, I think gay people have done the best job when it comes to, like, what black people are trying to do. You know how you hear that argument, oh, we're trying to take the, in, like, the word nigger and turn it into something positive so that, like, it's a word of endearment and, like, we want to flip it and change it and stuff like that. I mean, nobody has done that more than with, like, like gay people with the word queer. Because the word queer used to be, like, a derogatory term. And then they literally changed it to the point where it's damn near not. <laughs> like, like if, if I'm not mistaken, the word queer means, like, uh, it's kind of like the same as being curious, right? Like, you don't really know where exactly you fall. You have, like, interest in the, other, uh, in the same sex, but you don't really know if you're gay or not. So, like, queer is like you're in that gray area and so I mean like, like I said I'm not in any position to tell anybody that like is gay what they should feel about the word faggot or anything like that I can only tell you about how I thought about the word now growing up I'm kind of in the same boat as him I have used the word in the past before never once did I use it to somebody that was gay never once did I direct it at anyone that seen gay for me it was the same thing he's saying like somebody that's acting i guess douchey <laughs> it's kind of like when someone says something like uh well you know um star war and there was never he never said luke i am your father in star wars or the the, the words beam me up scott he was like it's it's just that that know-it-all person or like someone that just like gets on your nerves <laughs> so he would tend to say it towards them now i know for a fact that there were people that said it towards gay people i know that there are people that said it when persecuting dead gay people or being der uh, derogatory or uh being discriminating or anything like that i understand i completely understand and you have every single right to be offended by that word i do not use it to well i don't use a period especially now I don't use it period mainly because like I said it was never really in my vocabulary in the past it was just a word that I would use like when something someone was acting like a, a dick so now I just say dick <laughs> like you're acting like a dick or you're acting like a, a dumbass I, I like saying that because it comes out hard you're because you, you can build that up you're acting like a dumbass <laughs> so I tend to go towards that um see but yeah it's, it's not really a big issue for me and only people that like to me, it seems only people that have a major issue with a lot of these type of words and why they can't say these words tend to be people that use the word offensively. I'm sorry. Like, why do you really care so much about using the word? I mean, it's one thing that be mad at, like, the idea of, oh, well, nobody should have a word that other people can't say. But to get so mad to the point where, like, you want to fucking pass legislation and shit because they're like, oh well they're using a word that i don't like or they're using a word that i can't say why the fuck do you care about saying it <laughs> i like, understand you don't want to censor words because it gives them more power i completely understand that but the idea that oh i'm gonna stop saying i'm you can't say this word because i can't say it that that is a dumb argument to me it, it i just feel it it just feels dumb to me now, if you go, you can go into the comment section and explain to me why you think that would be a why that's not the case. Like I said, I'm a very open-minded person. If you say anything that makes sense, I will give you credit for it, and I, you may even change my stance on it. I had somebody change my stance about AR-15s because I heard they were high-powered weapons, and that's what I thought. But then when I when he came down with the technical side of it, I was like, okay, well, these really aren't. They're just scary-looking guns. So, um, like I said, leave it in the comment section. Uh, I'll be open to listening to it. If I, if I do have any fans out there that may be gay or uh, homosexual in any way, make sure you uh, get in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the word because you're the ones I really want to get the uh, message from because I, there can be as many people in the comment section who don't have shit to do with gay culture. They can get in there. All they want is, well, I think the word should be used because of this. No, y'all don't. It don't matter what the fuck you think because you're not the one that's impacted by the word. I want to hear people that's actually impacted by the word. Like, the N-word is easy. I can tell you how I feel about that because it's something that directly affects me. But you have no business saying, like, talking about something or, like, giving your opinion about, not giving your opinion, but 
given your stance and like saying why this should be the case or why this shouldn't be the case. All you can do is give your opinion. Anyway, that's been this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. I'm going to move on to some more videos in case that uh, <laughs> Mad TV video does get taken down. So I have another one, you know, on deck. <laughs> and I'm the original Renaissance man, Devon Da Vinci. I will see you at the next video, hopefully. <laughs> Deuces.